I'm really proud of, uh, as a company and as a team, the iteration pace and the fact that we've really, we've embraced two concepts that I, I think are, are somewhat unique in this space, which is traditionally a more um, controlling because you have rights holders and you're trying to be careful about how your IP is portrayed. Um, one is this sort of fearless transparency and iteration in public. Um, we talk, we publish our roadmap for the product, for our creators. Um, we bring many of them to our Roblox developers conference and give them previews and show them what we're doing. Um, and, and we've done that explicitly without fear of saying, you know, we're going to try things. We're going to ship these features. We're telling you now because we want your feedback. And after we've shipped them, we are not afraid of getting it wrong the first time. Um, and there are many cases where we've released things, we've gotten community feedback, creator feedback, iterated on it quickly. And by doing that in public, doing it with the published roadmap, um, doing it with our open APIs and our embrace of open source, it's allowed us to move really fast because we're, we're not trying to hold back and, and control it. We're just trying to partner directly with our community. Um, and I think they understand that we're doing all of this for their benefit. And so they're willing to, to meet us halfway and sort of iterate on that rather than expecting something that's you know perfect and locked down the first time it ships. They'd rather get it a year earlier and provide feedback. Um, the second thing that's really impressive that Roblox does is in terms of development, um, and again, I don't know anyone in the space who does this, is that we ship weekly. Uh, and most, most products in the space, um, if you think of 3D software, it'll be every four years there's a release of a 3D model or a point update or for a game engine, maybe every two years. Um, people sometimes release patches every quarter. Every single Thursday, we ship a new client to every single player around the world, releasing new features, um, new access, new security mechanisms. We are continuously updating the back end. And this is something where we're really inspired by web development, where the notion is if, it's, if everything's on your server, you can iterate continuously um, because there aren't discrete releases. We've brought that kind of rapid release to the much more complicated world of 3D software development and pushed it all the way out to the client devices and said, we are going to ship frequently. So it makes us incredibly responsive um, whenever there's, there's that kind of community feedback. We want to adopt it and change the feature. We don't have to wait for a release six months from now. We can push out a change in a few days. And, and that kind of iteration and that kind of embracing the community, I think, has allowed us to be a lot more nimble and that as AI technology has gotten more powerful within our space, specifically for safety and for creation, we've been able to embrace it really quickly. <laughs>